Look here. I have to look at myself. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have Matt again Hi. here on the channel. I just wanted to do something really fun with him. Fun for me, but I don't know whether it's fun for him. <laughs> so I saw this video around on YouTube. This American couple called Jess and Gabriel and Jess basically went to test Gabriel, her husband, on a bunch of women products. Whether or not he knows them and if he knows what they're used for. Just a disclaimer, Matt is actually really good at women products I feel because <laughs> because he's very observant so he definitely knows all of your usual stuff today's video i feel like the difficulty level is high what yeah. am i supposed to do you're supposed to just guess and tell me what it is and what it does okay yeah there are 22 products and i have ranked it from the easiest to the hardest according to my personal opinion la, of what i think he wouldn't get if it's hard by your standard then it's going to be hard mm. i'm about to end this man's whole career are you ready the first one Oh, it's a beauty blender, so easy. Mm-hmm. Okay, I bought so, so many for you already. Applicator of the foundation or your concealer. For more even even application, I don't know. It's very easy to apply la. Okay la, let's give it to him. 20 plus dollars per sponge. <laughs> so small no more. So you want a big one and you think it's worth 20 dollars? A big one? Yeah like that la. <laughs> <laughs> It's not 20 something, it's 30 something dollars. No, I bought it 20 something. Because you bought it at a 99 sale. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, next one. It looks like a water bottle. Water bottle. Is it to put in hot liquid to warm your face? Wait, is this a face thing? No, I can't. Oh, it's, I not, can't tell it's, you. Not, it's not limited to skincare. No, is no. Okay. Is it to heat it up so that you can nurse yourself during your month? Your menstrual cramps? Yeah. It is! Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you being so awkward about it? Okay. This is a hot water bottle. People use it to go camping and stuff as well. But it's just that because it's like kind of soft, you can put hot water inside. So usually the girls will like hug it to sleep when. Have you yeah. used this before? I've never. Oh, okay. Because I don't own one. Oh, yeah. How do I know? Your ex girlfriend, maybe? No, lah. Next one. <laughs> This one I see before. Stick on bra. Stick on bra? Stick on nipple tape? Yeah. Depends on how big it is, what? If it's like that, it's a bra, right? <laughs> right it's nipple tape, what? They are called pasties. Pasties. So, when will you use these? When you have to wear something that can show half your boob. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of correct. Okay, next one. That's a breast pump. That's fast! So obvious! I didn't think- Wow! <laughs> Tell it yo! It looks like it can be a lot of things. It looks like it can be rough sponge that you use to wipe yourself when you are showering. It looks like a hair tool where you can make a donut bun. Tie around it and put over it. Boop. In replacement of hair? No, put your hair over it lah. Then it's like, make the volume lah. Is that an answer? Or so it can be or a or stocking it a... that is rolled up into a ball. It looks like so many things, but I think it's a hair thing. It is! It's a donut hair bun. And you are absolutely right. Good job! I'm impressed. Next one. It looks like an eyelash or eyebrow cutter. I think eyebrow lah. Nobody cuts their eyelash. You're right! <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I tested this to like a few of my interns and they didn't get it. What did they guess? Some scissors, I guess. Some scissors? Okay. Yeah. Next up. Is it a mask? For what? This part of your face. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mask for what? Your small lines? Where can you fit it? On your head? Here? This is called Gua Sha. It's usually jade. made out of like jade or crystal or a stone mm. that is cooler in texture and it's usually in this shape because you want to improve blood circulation oh. on your face. I know what this is. What? It literally says it on, on the thing. But I didn't see it before I knew. But but I didn't You're not supposed to zoom in to see it. I didn't zoom in. I already knew what it was already. Okay, what? Yeah. To wash your brush. And you just like rub onto it. Then you rinse it under water <coughs> and then while you're rinsing it, you, you rub it against the So the why up. is it in the shape? And where are you supposed to put it? Put it at the bottom of the sink. Like. Oh yeah, that's the answer. Yeah, then of course not, then put where? Matt is actually really good at women products. This little area over here mm. is actually meant for the sinkhole. Not bad! Next! This is a bidet. A bidet? <laughs> Wait, wait, I what is the product? This is the product? Yeah! This koi thing. Ah. No, what's this? You, you're asking me the- It's a handle. Oh, this is a handle. It's gonna get harder from here. I guess it's not a bidet. But your answer is a bidet lah. Seems like it's a camera holder. Where do you put the camera? On one end of it. 
It might be a light this here. I don't know. Uh. So this is what you use to pluck your facial hairs. Oh. It goes like this, and then you just put it like this, and then the, the spring gaps the hair. Oh, that is really weird. Okay, next. This one might be difficult even for girls. PMD Pro. Looks like a shaver. It looks like something to clean your nose or your ear. The answer is wrong. It is a microdermabrasion device at home. So it helps to suck up your pores, get rid of your dead skin cells. You know you do that and stick the oh, This is the at home one. Yeah. Oh. Next up, don't bother with the brand. Honestly, this looks like an eyeliner pencil. You have to give me a hint because there's Why? no way. Because I'll say eyeliner pencil because I'm sure there's an eyeliner that looks like this. Hmm. Okay, I have no idea. It's a facial roller. So this part is where you roll like this. I've never used it before, but it's very, very popular. Uh, apparently it has, I think, either red LED light or it's just cooling. What's it called? Facial roller. I'll insert the name here. It's also facial roller. <laughs> Proven. <laughs> Next step. They look like pieces of shit. <laughs> they look like hair clip. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> the inside part, you can split it open. It's a hole. It's a mouth guard. <laughs> it <really? laughs> it's like this length in real life. It comes in pairs. But you don't have to use it as a pair. What comes in pairs? Eyes? Nose? Ears? Sometimes it comes in pairs simply because it's more poisson, you know? I don't know. But it's, okay. I think it's something to do with a pair. <laughs> I think it's for your feet. It's for you to put your toes through it. <laughs> I don't know. So this is for your hair. Oh. Basically, these are like hairstyle creators tools. So you have this, this is actually hard. You can actually bend it. Put your hair through the hole. So mm -hmm. it looks like this, right? Like this, you put it to the end. You can roll it up. Roll, 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 roll. And then you turn the thing. Oh. So you can create like buns or like different, different things with it. Next up. It looks like a shaver. Okay, that's your answer, right? Yeah. It is an epilator! It means pluck out hair? Yeah. So instead of shaving, all these things actually roll like like this and then they go on your hair and they pull it out. Mm. You will cry. Okay. Even for me, it's very painful. This one? It looks like so many things. Wait, how big is it? Size of your palm. It looks like a silicon pad. Like, used for a mouse. <laughs> you ever look at someone and wonder, what is going on inside their head? I don't know, I can't describe I anymore. can't describe it anymore. Oh, okay. It's uh, something you use to massage your face. A little bit close. Basically, this is called a CD sponge. You remember? That to was like a... To apply on your face. Yes, you remember yeah, like yeah, yeah. there was a trend mm -hmm. that they use silicone yeah, yeah, like sponge. Yeah. Not, to they're apply not like foundation. Yeah. Mm. So but, this is it. But I think when you used it, it was very like weird for you. Yeah. It didn't really apply very well. Yeah. Mm. But that was not the point. That's when not is he got it wrong? It's so, it's so ambiguous. This <laughs> no. can be a teardrop. I even you. told you the size of it. It's a teardrop. It's a, a drop giant of... teardrop. <laughs> it's not. If you had told me it was a breast implant, I would have like said like, okay, fine. Like maybe it does look like one. But yeah, I wanted to say it's it. a silicone pad. Like, a silicone pad. Then you say it's a mouse pad. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, you can use a breast implant as a wrist support for. for that's mouse. very wrong, okay? Next! Is this a sponge holder? Oh, like a beauty blender sponge holder, right? But why is the tip like this? You have to insert it somewhere. How do you decipher that you have to insert it somewhere? I don't know, I'm just thinking. Am I on the right track? Just say what you think, I'm not supposed to give you hints. Oh, I don't know. I guess that this is a holder for sponge to clean it. Wrong. This is what we call a menstrual cup. You're right, you have to insert it somewhere, but inside. you insert it inside your vagina. It's a silicone cup about this size, like this size. And then what you do is you fold it, and then you insert it, and then it will just open up like this. So it kind of like blocks the passageway, mm. and it collects blood like this. It's a lot more eco-friendly and it collects uh, three to four pets worth. I've never tried it before myself, but I'm quite interested la, to see what it is. Yeah, you take out, if you have to fold it, take out. Then you, when you, no, so when you take out, out you okay. push, then all No, no, no. so right. see? This? So you just pull the tip out. It literally comes out like that. Um, Next. It looks like a tweezer to tweeze your hair out. But I know you won't give me a tweezer because we use it all the time. So it has to be a special kind of tweezer. It looks too white to be a nose hair tweezer. <laughs> 
How big is it? A normal tweezer size. What needs tweezing? Hair, obviously. The whole video, your whole face, your face, you are like, you know, confident and not, then you suddenly begin like, let it. <laughs> <laughs> more and more hunchback. Am I like making you like more not confident? I think this one is used for tweezing. Tweezing eyebrow hair. Okay, that's the answer. It's a ta. It is a falsies tweezer. So you see the shape, right? The shape is actually like like that. It's wider. It's because you're not meant to hurt the falsies hair, and you can just use it to gap the hair like this flat, and then you paste it on your eye like that. What the heck? It's just to put it on. Yeah. That makes and also you can remove it like this. It's not extra, okay? But why don't you have it? I have it. I just don't use it because I, I use my fingers. I'm pretty good at oh. handling the falsies. Okay, next one. Night below. How big is it? It is very big. Whoa. Like this big. Two years? Yes. What the heck? It's obviously for your body la. When do you use this and why do you use this? No idea. Up. This is a pregnancy pillow. People who are expecting, like pregnant women, they find it very hard to lie on their backs, right? Because the baby's weight like causes them to, you know, it's very hard to breathe and everything. So they usually sleep on their sides. Oh. But when you sit on your side, right, it's also like very, because of gravity, it's very uncomfortable. So this pillow actually has a hole in the middle for the mom to sleep and then she can lie on both sides and rest her belly on it. So this is a pregnancy pillow and it's as big as your bed. Wow, as big as my bed? Uh, I mean like half of the bed. Uh. Okay. Like a human size. Mm. I'm sure when you're pregnant, I will learn all these things <coughs> automatically. Yeah, but now you know. Mm. Even before I'm pregnant. Next up! Daring wheel. What is this? How big is this? It's this small. No idea. Pull something together. Pull what together? Okay, you're on the right track. Pull the hair together. No. You already lost the game. Yeah. Whole hair brush together. Whole like hair comb together. Brush. I eyeshadow brush mm. together. Mm. Then, so this one, you're right it, that it holds some things together. It is a bra clip. So it looks oh. like this. So on days where you actually have wear racer bags and you don't want your bra straps to show, you can put this and then it holds your bra clips together. Mm. Okay, next up. This looks like a shaver. And what is it for? Shaving your armpit. I think you can use it for your armpits, but basically this is a hair trimmer. For below. Not necessarily only for your delicate areas. It goes like like this, like like this. So it doesn't actually like cut your skin. So you can use it for your, like your fine hairs around your fingers, wherever you want. Okay, next. They look like powder applicators. Yeah, they look like it. They want to slot your finger in. They just... <laughs> it's a powder puff? But obviously it's not, right? Wait, wait. Is this Velcro? Yes, it's oh. Velcro. Is this hard? It's you soft. can find hard and you can find soft ones. Is this a positive negative side? Or is it both like both sharp? Where? The Velcros. Both sharp. So this is to paste somewhere on. It's to paste somewhere and rub your back on it. <laughs> 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 like a back scrubber. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a hair volumizer. You know when like people have ponytails, right? Then they want to make the curly pop at the top. Mm. They actually put this here, and then they have a fringe or something to put it over. So this oh. is actually a mountain. Like it's like a dome shape, like a semi-circle dome shape, and it has mm. Velcro to put your hair over it. Oh. So it has a nice hump. You know those SQ girls? Mm. Okay, I'm not saying all SQ girls use it, but it's to create that kind of effect. We have this. How big is it? About the size of my palm. It looks very like, designed very okay. specifically for function. Yeah. Like the shape is so like, specific. This looks like it's attached to something. This looks like it's attached to something. Yeah, I don't expect a lot of guys to know this. Unless you are, you read like magazines a lot, then this has been featured in a lot of magazines when it first came out. Why would guys read this kind of magazine? Fashion? Style? No, I mean, I mean... Fashion item? No, 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 it's not a fashion item. Yeah, I don't know, but I think it's used to wash something. So this is a urination device for girls. Oh. It's for girls who want to pee like funnel. when they are standing up. So that you don't have to sit on the toilet bowl. That is really weird. Why? <laughs> Sometimes when the toilet bowl is very dirty, or if you're like camping or whatever, and you just don't want to sit down or you don't want to squat down to pee. If we stand up, right, so the pee is gonna get all over fig, us. Fig dick. It's a funnel, basically. 
It's a funnel, so you can just put it on you and then you pee and it's much cleaner and mess free. You have to clean it later. Yeah, actually. after that you need to rinse it. Lah. This is, I think, the last, one. the last one, which I think is the hardest one. I don't expect him to know. It looks like it can be two things. One, it looks like a cotton bud that is curved. Another one, it looks like a candle that is curved. <laughs> <laughs> like a matchstick, so like earwax. Why is it curves like that? I don't think you need it for your ears if it's so curved or your nose. How big is it? Like that. Wow. The tips is not cotton, right? It looks like silicone or like some rubber. It looks like hairband or something. Is that your final answer? Yeah. This is a bra underwire. Oh. When we have bras that are not like cloth, you know, they are cups and they have wires under them. So this is what it is underneath. Mm. We girls know how it looks like because we definitely do have some bras that are so worn that the underwire pokes out and you can literally pull the whole thing out. Uh... So yeah, this is how it looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do you enjoy yourself? Yes. I, I was expecting a lot more like skincare, makeup stuff. Because like I mentioned is you definitely know all of them. Oh, so it's like, you know, if we introduce things that are like so random, then it's like, it's going to be but so it's impossible all women, to But it's all women to, products. To, to guess. It's still oh. women products. Mm, I guess so. And I believe a lot of women will know it. Mm. Wait, you got how many correct? Let's see. No, one, one, two, three. I got this correct. This? No, this is an appellator. I, oh. 8 out of 22. <laughs> you failed! <laughs> but I think you really did not bet already. So girls, go and test the guys in your life and see whether or not they know all these things. If you had fun watching this video and if you had fun watching Matt, please subscribe and talk to us in the comments box down below and I will leave an image for you to screenshot with all of the 22 items that we've listed over here. Easily for you to just test your friends after this. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.